everybody and welcome back to another Wizzy Walsh Eventing vlog. It is packing for a horsey holiday as I am going to fill up farm holidays tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what to pack. <sighs> it's a long list. List. So first things first. Right, so I need saddle pads. So I've got here four saddle pads because you know you need one for every day. We use I use a different one for the beach and like an old older saddle pad or one that's really good like an air tech one so i'm going to use one of the lovely ulan ones um because it'll just dry so much quicker and you can just wash it off when you're there okay first on my list is saddle pads so i've got this one from ulan i had a very nice little discount thank you very much actually um so that is like a really nice air tech one so i'm probably going to use that for cross country then I have got a Lemieux one that I'm just going to use for everyday cross country. Another Lemieux one from cross country. Um, an AirTech one from Ulan that I might use. I've also got the Lemieux one as well. It's from Ulan. And then I've got this lovely little beastie for cross country. This is old saddle. Um, obviously I've got my new saddle now, so that is going to be used for cross country days. Or cross country rides and then i've got my lovely old monarch for um beach rides because we usually go quite deep as you saw last time girth that i'm going to use for the beach oh i think it's a flap off my saddle <laughs> and then i've got um my bridle for cross country i've got my body protector you need your body protector obviously because if you yeah, there's a cross country course at phil farm so you definitely need that. Gloves. I've got gloves here and I've also got another pair. I think like an old set of gloves uh, for the beach because you're going to get wet and sandy and it's not nice. Um, so you can probably just like chuck them away afterwards or whatever. Hats. You need just an everyday hat to go to the beach. Um, and you also need your cross country one. So I've got my cross country one in there just need to change the hat silk obviously the usual like whip spurs if you need them riding boots take an old pair and a newer pair yeah take an old pair and a new pair so i've got two pairs i'd also say actually to take some old stirrup leathers and old stirrups if you've got any just for the beach again because you don't want to wreck them and i definitely don't want to wreck my pravins because i have a lot of money and i love them so yeah i don't want to ruin that it's cross country boots and then normal boots <laughs> so i'm not gonna lie i literally have this whole massive box of boots so i've got my cross country boots for cross country day cross country boots i've got the equilibrium in teal um absolutely the best boots ever like the high impact the high impact ones so they go on the inside just off of brushing she's quite she brushes quite a lot as you can see um, and then that one goes at the front of her leg to stop fine. The jib leg done. And then I've got some of my spurs. I recognise this packaging, but this is from Tech Stirrups. So I wanted some new spurs. And I got these little beauties. They're really lightweight and um, they're quite smart. They're smart, like titanium smart. So it is you will need some tack cleaner because obviously going to the beach we literally dunk the saddles in clean fresh water to clean them like of any sand and that and then afterwards at night we'll clean the saddles with some saddle soap um buckets you need one for night one for morning and you'll need a water bucket as well so that's the bucket then so an absolute essential in any lorry, any holiday you're going on. Your horse is going to be doing a lot of work. Your essential is recovery mash. So I use Saracen's recovery mash and Saren goes mad for it. Like literally mad for it. So I've got loads of pouches and you can get them in little travel pouches. They're now actually recyclable, which is good. Um, so yeah. And you get quite a lot in those, like that'll do her like three times. So she's got her recovery mash, which is of high importance to Seren. She's in the field over there and she's just herbing with her food. 
Uh, yeah, food next. Uh, as I did earlier, as I made earlier. I made. I'm going to prepare Saren's dinner now. Dinners. Dinners. Sandwich bags. I'm going to do morning and night sandwich bags. So it's having its own Hestavax, which is the best supplement ever. Like, I love it. And I'm seeing a real benefit of it. So I need to pack two for each day. of supplements there so I'm gonna need them. She's gonna be in a lot of work so need those. They're, not, they're really handy though they? really 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 handy. So food in there she's got her make a mash in there which is an essential. You do not need to bring you do not need to take any mucking out equipment any you don't need to take a barrow or anything because it's all provided for you you don't need to take hay or haylage i'm only taking hay and hay nets because i'm traveling um like i'm going to bex tomorrow and then uh we'll obviously need hay to travel to field farm and then i'll need hay to go back but you can always use hay from there they're, they're so good um so yeah you don't need any mucking out equipment it's all there even like the poo picking stuff all there that's my shampoo from Omega and I actually won that in a giveaway so that's very good. It's massive so that all the girls can use that. So rugs I'd recommend um, a dry rug or some kind of rug to dry the horse with so I've just got this cheap one from Decathlon. It does the job for now. She's also got, um, I would also recommend obviously whatever you travel your horse in. So Saren's really quite, a, she quite gets quite hot when she's traveling. So she's got this cooler and it's like proper air mesh. Like it's literally just all that, all over, like all that, all over. And it keeps her nice and cool. Take a uh, waterproof for your horse just in case. So just pack like a 50 gram or something just in case. Because it can get quite windy there and it can get a little bit drizzly. So it just depends what the weather's like. So I think that is me all packed. Um, obviously take some fly veils if you want to, uh, just in case there are flies around. But you can actually um, take head collars, obviously. Uh, take a head collar for travelling, take a head collar for just handling them down there. Because you, when you go to field farm, you get a stable allocated to you. You get a field allocated to you and you can use any of the equipment and stuff. Um, they do actually have a little shop on site as well for food and like essential bits and bobs, you know, like a I mimic mean, or anything. Um, just things that you can think of that you're like, oh god, I forgot that, and they've got it. So, yeah, it's really, really good. So, I'm gonna put some green uh, bedding down.
Part better.